Speaking on the floor of the House, Minority Leader Haruna Idrisu declared that the side will see the motion to its logical conclusion and called on the NPP MPs to support the move. This side, we do not have the minimum threshold to succeed in essential. But I'm also well aware that voting on this matter will be secret and will be by secret ballot. And I'm aware that there are reasonable people opposite the eye who share our position but are afraid to be seen offending the president. So Mr. Speaker, as for this motion, as for this motion, I am determined so long as I live and I'm alive. And I've issued a nine line whip, three by th three times three. All my members, even if we are defeated on this motion, we will be defeated in honor and in dignity, standing with the Ghanaian people who are suffering. Responding to the minority leader, Majority Leader Osei Chairman Sabonsu said they will continue to dialogue with NDC MPs to find a common ground on the matter. The Speaker, the Minority Leader is saying that he, he wants some assurance that maybe the Finance Minister may be on the 31st of December. And if he has that assurance, he may think that uh, it may not then be necessary to pursue this. It's a window of opportunity that is creating. Just we, we, are, we, are, we are in dialogue, we are talking, we are trying to see the best way forward. So the motion for censure against the finance minister is still on the other paper. It has been listed as a notice. And next week, that seven-day notice period would have elapsed and the minority leader or any member of that side may move the motion, after which it will be debated and a vote will be taken by secret. Remember, Finance Minister Ken Ofuriata is entitled to be heard in his own defense with the, within the specific issues that the minority are raising against him. He can do so himself or may elect a lawyer. That, that is the contention of the Deputy Majority Leader Alexander Fenyo Makin. And that is where he has some concerns. Under our own jurisprudence on contempt, we allow the contempt no, the respondent contempt no to be represented by counsel. And we are precedents in that. Because he is entitled to be heard. Right to fair hearing is a cynical non thing. You cannot take it away from a respondent in a matter. For Joy News, Kweku Asante, Parliament House, Accra.